So, gift giving is not my love language, so Christmas already confuses me from the start. I'm like, they're gonna give me stuff, and this is the thing. So I was like, 10 or 11, and I knew that Christmas and getting things at Christmas was a thing. So my friend invited me over to her house because my family wasn't going to be able to have Christmas for me. We didn't have a tree up in the living room. My mom had to work on Christmas. She was like, do you want cable or do you want Christmas? And I was like, bitch, I want cable and a fucking McDonald's cheeseburger, so fuck that shit. You don't even have to wrap it. Forget about it. So my friend invited me over. And this meant a lot of things to me because she wasn't only my friend, she was my friend, you know? She was my lover. And I knew that she was getting a Barbie dream house and her mom got a doll for me. So I was like, I'll just spend the night at your house. I'll open this Barbie dream house because apparently instead of people just taking you to the store to get shit over with, like it's like something where they like buy it and it's a secret and they wrap it. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm against the service people. I'm like, yo, let me clean your window. Let me wash your car. You want to know I love you? You want some toast? You want a bagel? You hungry? You hungry? So I go over there and I'm like, oh, we get to be together. It's Christmas. It's just me and my boo. Like, let's do this. We're going to play with the Barbie dream house. We're going to cuddle. It's fine. It's perfect. I love you. I hope you got me a black Barbie, but I'm not going to say anything if you didn't, but I hope you did. And there's this banging on the door in the middle of the night, like boom, 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 boom. And they get up and they're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh shit, it's the police. I thought your dad wasn't doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm all hit under the bed. But it's my mom. And she's come to get me and she's like, you need to come home right now. Right now. And I'm like, not the one. I'm like, but the Barbie dream house. We have plans. Her dad hasn't even ordered the porno pay-per-view. Like, I haven't even gotten any booty yet. Like, what are you talking about? It was like that, I was like that, whatever. So, my mom like begrudgingly grabs me and all my stuff and she drags me out of the house. And I'm just like being a bitch in the car on the way home, like she's like talking to me and I'm like, fuck you, fuck Christmas. Christmas is dumb, Christmas is stupid, whatever. Fuck you, stupid. So we get home and we pull up and I like stomp up the stairs just like stomp up the stairs. And I like try to go to fling open the door and there's something stopping it. And this is a one bedroom apartment, y'all. So I'm like, is there a dead body in here? Did you call me here? It's cause we have to dig some fucking hole to put somebody in. Is that what it is? And I like step around the door and I'm trying to be mad and I turn around and my entire living room is covered and Christmas presents. And my mom's new boyfriend, David, that I would always be a bitch to, had found out that my mom couldn't pay for presents. And so he came over in the middle of the night and he told her to tell me that I was gonna spend the night at my friend's house and that he spent hours and hours. This is a like, David was like six foot four. He drove a Maybach Cadillac, like greasy Jerry Curl, like always had on the Dickies, like jumpsuit, like had just come out from under the hood of a car. Always smelled like Motorola. I had that orange scrubby soap in the bathroom growing up. Like, he was like not that dude, but he found that out and he drove over and he <laughs> had little cuts on his fingers from the big tape dispenser because he couldn't figure out tape so he kept cutting himself and then he drove over to pick me up and I'm sitting here and I'm like what the fuck it's Christmas what so I'm like 
ripping open all my gifts and I'm like getting all this stuff and I'm like enjoying it and I'm like yeah and by the time I got finished unwrapping everything I'm surrounded in like a sea of wrapping paper and then later in life as I had more intimate friends and I grew up and I became an adult I understood what it was to think about someone so immensely that you wanted to give them and I started to understand that love language and I had this Christmas where I just sat and cried because I realized that that man that was not my biological father loved me so much that I would be up to my waist in a sea of wrapping paper. I'm Sister Jack.